were at Daystar uh, about a year or so ago and had a chance to dine, to serve, to minister with this uh, man of God who has gone home to be with the Lord. Now, Daystar Television Network officially launched um, in 1997. I won't spend much time on this, but I want to show you something. Daystar reaches over 108 million households in the United States and over 2 billion worldwide in Canada, Europe, India, the Philippines, and South Africa. Daystar is the fastest growing faith-based television network in the world. Daystar is available on all major satellites and cable systems in the U.S. In 2006, Daystar became the first and only Christian television network to be broadcast in the nation of Israel. Daystar Television Network is an award-winning faith-based network dedicated to spreading the gospel 24 hours a day and seven days a week all around the globe. And uh, this was the work of uh, uh, Pastor Marcus Lamb. Uh, he's the president of Daystar, and he and his lovely wife, Joni, and they have such a tremendous family. We, uh, uh, Brother Rafer, we got a chance to meet them all and to dine with them, some of the finest people you will ever meet, reaching over 108 million households and in the United States and two billion people around the world. Now this is just a, a snapshot of the great things that uh, this man of God did. Now let's compare this snapshot of what the man accomplished to how the world covered it. Let me tell you something, you better know that we're up against folk who hate us. Now, now notice how the, 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 the media treats child molesters, rapists. You would have thought that those people that read and how short shot were angels. Uh, look at what's uh, coming out about the guy in Chicago. Smollett. Smollett. Yes, Smollett. The whole country divided, preachers and everybody. Look at what happened to Jesse. The cause of Trump. The man staged the whole thing. I guess I should say alleged. But anyway, here's how they treated Marcus's passing. Marcus Lamb, head of televangelist, head of televangelist network that spreads COVID misinformation, dies of COVID-19. Now, now this, is, this is a CBS. This is how they report on the passing of a man of God who accomplished all these things. Marcus Lamb, founder and president of the controversial conservative outlet Daystar Network, has died after a battle with COVID-19. His network and family announced on Tuesday he was 64 years of age. The, the sheer level of disrespect. Now, now uh, you can't hurt Marcus because Marcus is somewhere around the throne. And when you read the strong stand uh, of his family, you know that, that Joni Lamb and Jonathan Lamb and the family, uh, they are saved and sanctified and strong. And, and they ain't on roller skates uh, going backwards because they knew, they, they've been under the impression uh, that, that we used to be under, and I hope most of us are, is that people die. Saints die. Amen. God never promised that we wouldn't pass away. I got news for you. Everyone, everybody in here is going to pass. Amen. Whether it's COVID-19, 20, 25, 30, cancer, whatever. When the time is right, when God gets ready, we've been singing about it for years, you got to move. 
When the Lord gets ready, you got to move. Well, the Lord got ready and he's gone. But he's gone home. You got to finish the sentence. Oh, he's gone. I can't believe he's gone. Uh, but if you finish the sentence, he's gone home to be with the Lord. And God is going to take care of them. It is a loss. It is a, a loss. It is, it, is, is, it, is, it is a loss. But the world has no respect. Uh, just none when it comes to believers. They were quoting um, Lamb's son, Jonathan, and his wife, Joni, confirmed the news uh, in the Daystar broadcast on Tuesday saying that he had died at around 4 a.m. He was diagnosed with COVID and then got uh, the uh, COVID pneumonia, but he had a pre-existing, he had pre-existing conditions. Jonah said he had diabetes, but he kept it in check. She said that they attempted numerous protocols, including unproven ones that the organization has touted on their, look at this, on their broadcast, but they did not work. His heart eventually gave out, she said, she added. It caused his blood sugar to spike and, and a decrease in his oxygen, she said. He 100% believed in everything that we've talked about uh, on Daystar. We still stand by that. And I like it. We still stand by it, obviously. See? That, that, that's, see that, that, that's what I like. See? Anybody, anybody can talk and have faith when everything is going your way. But what if God allows something to happen uh, that, where it don't go your way? I've, I've often said now, if, if the Lord called me home, y'all better not take back all I've been preaching. If you do, I'm coming back. I'm going to ask God, Lord, give me 15 minutes. That's all I need. Give me 15 minutes and a gun, Lord. Amen. Amen. That's all I need. Praise the Lord. Because we, we, we are we're soldiers on the battlefield for the Lord. We promise God that we will stay out here until we die. Amen. So uh, his wife was truly, well, his life, look at this, his life was truly well lived. And there's no doubt that he heard well done my good and faithful servant, when he entered heaven's gate. Jonathan Lamb tweeted, along with the photo of his father, I'm going to really miss dad. We golf together every week for the past 15 years. He impacted me by demonstrating a righteous way to live and helped me become the man that I am today. Now that's a Christian family saying Christian things. Uh, even when trouble struck. But the world, the world, the world, oh, the world can be so cruel. And I want to say to you Christians out there who are touting the world's stance and saying what the world says, I'm going to tell you something. They don't love you. They don't love you any more than they love Marcus Lamb. They don't love you any more than they love me. Some of them who are celebrating you, they don't care about you. Just make the mistake. Just make the mistake of disagreeing with them. Just make the mistake of saying something that is contrary to whatever their stated position is at the time. And you will see that they will turn on you because you don't matter to them. I thank God that we name the name of Christ. And we're not going to hate them who hate us. We're going to pray for them. And uh, now I tell you now, it takes a lot of prayer to keep the hatred out your heart. Because Patrick Wooden gets riled up. And I have to go away and pray now, Lord, sanctify me. Sanctify me, Lord. Sanctify me because I'm upset. I'm upset with them for this because this was a true man of God. I used to listen to the Bill LeMay show, and I'm, I'm going to move on. We're going to study the Bible, but I had to talk about it. Saints need to stick together. I used to listen to the Bill LeMay show, and I was listening to Bill LeMay uh, and, uh, it was back on 680, and uh, 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 I think that's where it was, and uh, uh, President Nixon 
had passed. And uh, people wanted to call in when President Nixon passed and chime in. Um, and, they, and many of them called who wanted to talk about Watergate. And I thought Bill LeMay handled it with such class. He says, we've talked about Watergate before and we'll talk about Watergate, Watergate again, but not today. Not today. We're going to respect this man. We're going to respect this passing. We're going to respect this family. And let's talk about his numerous accomplishments, for they were many. Now, if you are a pseudo-historian, then all you know about is Watergate, and a lot of people don't know what that means. They just know something happened. But um, there were many accomplishments, but what I appreciated was the high road that he took. So how about let's save this versus this kind of garbage headline. All you got to say about the man is he spread COVID misinformation, so he died of COVID-19. That's the devil. Say amen. And saints, I'm telling you right now, we need to stay strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because the same devil who would, to put, who would put something like that out uh, right after the man of God died. So I didn't get this today. I, I, today is Thursday. I had this article yesterday. This, this was put out right after he died. That, is that all you got to say about a man who fed people around the world? And help people. And uh, Marcus Lamb ain't, ain't shot nobody. Lamb, Lamb didn't rape nobody's child. Praise the Lord. Lamb was a man of God. And how you cover up the wicked and, and come after the righteous, God's going to judge every one of you. Praise the Lord.